This lesson is on choking anatomy and physiology and is brought to you by Don't Choke and Flareful Science. Let's start by learning the anatomy of the airway. Here's the larynx, and if we look inside, we can see the vocal cords moving down to the trachea. Then we go down to the carina, which is where the trachea splits into two bronchi, each called a bronchus. Now let's move on to our activity. This is what we'll be using. We have a model of the airway, popcorn kernels, jelly beans, which represent peanuts, hot dogs, and grapes. Sometimes food can go down the wrong pipe. Let's see where each of these items would end up if they were to go down the airway. Even though the larynx looks really big, on the inside you have the vocal cords, which is a point at which the airway is narrow. In today's activity, we'll be talking about if items get stuck at the vocal cords or if they can fall below. We'll start off by testing the popcorn kernels. Popcorn kernels are quite small, so what's your hypothesis or guess as to where these will end up? Looking from above, it doesn't look like it's stuck above the vocal cords. Here we can see that it's past the vocal cords, meaning that it can go down the trachea and even end up in the bronchi. So let's recap, where did our popcorn kernel end up? The most likely location that it would end up is one of the bronchi. Now, let's test out the jelly beans, which are just slightly larger than the popcorn kernels. Where do you think that it'll end up? Looking here, it seems that it has also gone past the vocal cords. So let's recap. The jelly beans, which represents nuts, also fell past the vocal cords and can end up in the carina and bronchus. And just as we've seen in the experiment, nuts don't usually get stuck in the larynx, but rather past the larynx into the trachea and main bronchi. Now let's move on to the grape. It's much larger. Where will it end up? As you can see, the grape stays above the vocal cords and blocks the entire airway, stopping air from moving through. It could also potentially end up at the level of the vocal cords. So with the grape, unlike the jelly beans or the nuts, as well as the popcorn kernel, it stays above the vocal cords, and it blocks the entire airway. Now, let's take a look at a piece of hot dog. It also gets stuck at the level of the vocal cord or above it, and this can block the entire airway. Just like the uncut grape, the hot dog can get stuck at the level of the vocal cords or above it and can block the entire airway. Uncut hot dogs and grapes usually get stuck between the vocal cords because they are round and rubbery. Properly cut hot dogs and grapes usually don't get stuck in the larynx at all and are usually easily swallowed. Any time that something that shouldn't be in the airway enters it, like a piece of food, this is called a foreign body aspiration. Choking is when something blocks the passage of air from the upper airway to the trachea. Therefore, when large rubbery foods, such as an unchewed or uncut grape or hot dog, get stuck in the airway at the top, this can cause choking. The smaller foods, such as the popcorn kernel or the peanut, which went past the vocal cord in our experiment, is less likely to cause choking, but can still cause airway obstruction further down the airway. If you want to learn more about choking prevention, visit www.dontchoke.ubc.ca. You can also check out more food science experiments at flarefulscience.org.